All right, let's try this again. So I was just live for some reason, the broadcast was interrupted. So really quickly, hopefully you guys are having an amazing evening. Uh, it's, I think it's almost like five or six o'clock in the evening. Um, but I just want to chime in really quickly and show you guys the best strategies on how to generate solar leads, right? So for those of you that are looking for solar leads, these are the three strategies that we personally use uh, to generate leads, right? Hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds of them every single month, right? I'm gonna show you guys the exact same things, uh, strategies that we use. Um, so the most popular one that we use, I wanna say maybe 75 to 80% of our leads come from Facebook, right? So that's the first source where you can actually generate leads from. Right, so there's a few ways or a few strategies to generate leads on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure you guys seen them plastered all over the place, right? So the first strategy, I'll call it strategy A, is um, you'll see an ad, right? Maybe a, a picture ad, picture ad to an opt-in page, right? That's probably the most common um, the ad that you would see on Facebook, right? So a picture ad to an opt-in page. And not only is that the most common, this is actually also the most expensive way to generate leads on Facebook, right? So if you're currently using this strategy right now, this works, don't get me wrong, we've been running this type of ads for years, but, there are newer strategies on how you can actually run uh, Facebook ads that's a lot cheaper, right? Because the strategy or the, the objective here is to get a lead, right? And when you're running a lead ad on Facebook, it's gonna cost you some moolah, right? Because of the type of conversions you're trying to get. But I'm gonna show you a strategy today where you can literally get leads for a fraction of the cost, literally pennies to the dollar, right? Pennies to the dollar if you use this strategy instead of, you know, a picture ad to an opt-in page, right? Like I said, this still converts, but you better be ready to fork up some cash, right? Better be ready to fork up some cash. So, get ready, take some notes, open up your, your, your ads manager because I'm gonna be dropping some bombs on you guys. So the way we're currently running ads, right, on top of this here now, is to run more a, um, a video view ad, right? So basically what we're trying to engage the, the homeowner to watch our videos, right? So what we'll do is we'll create uh, right now, I think we got four videos, right? I want to call that four value videos. So what we've done is we've created four value videos. And the difference with the traditional picture ad to the new strategy is it's not a picture anymore, right? It's actually videos. And the call to action, it's totally different. So what I mean by that is, on the traditional picture ad to opt-in page, your call to action would be, hey, Mr. Homeowner, click the button, sign up for a free solar consultation, right? Or however you want to phrase that, right? That's the strategy for strategy A is, hey, Mr. Homeowner, you like what you see, let's go ahead and sign you up for a free solar consultation, click this button, then you push them to an opt-in page, and from there they fill out their information, and then you would call them or however you guys you know, onboard your, your, your homeowners or your leads, right? So the new way, right? The new way is we create four value videos, right? And the call to action, instead of saying, hey, sign up for a consultation, our call to action here is like our page, uh, share our page, uh, watch our videos for a certain amount of time, right? So those are engagement, engagements that we're trying to get. So let me write down the engagement. So the first engagement that we're, we're, the, we're trying to get the homeowner to do is to like our page, right? Like. We're also telling the homeowner to share our video 
and we're also trying to get the homeowner to watch our video, right? So basically, the length of time that they're watching our video. These are the three ways that we're actually engaging with a homeowner, right? Liking, sharing, and depending on whether or not they like our video, we're segmenting these homeowners based on their action, right? So let me explain, because this gets a little bit tricky. Um, video number one, let's say uh, value number one, value video number one, right? So what we do is, we get the homeowner to engage in however way in these three forms. And what we do based on their engagement, we actually put these homeowners and create an audience. Based on their engagements, right? Based, based on their engagements. And one of the reasons why this ad is a lot cheaper, it's because it's not telling Facebook to engage the homeowner to get a lead, we're actually just telling Facebook that we just want to engage with this homeowner for them to like or share or just watch our video at a certain length, right? And depending, so this is, this is, this is now the audience, right? Depending on how long they watched this video, whether they liked it, whether they shared it, we start segmenting them, right? We create separate audiences this could be audience um, number one, and then audience number two, and then audience number three. I'm not even sure if you can see that. Right? Can you even see that? I think you can. Hey, what's up, Leo? So, Depending on how long or if they liked it or shared it, we're putting them into an audience, right? We're creating an audience. And from there, this is where it gets genius, man. This is where it gets genius. Depending on our engagements and our target, right? Say, for example, if we're, like, if we're saying that if, if this homeowner liked our page, we're going to retarget them with a um, ad video, right? So we're not serving this ad video, and the, basically what the ad video means that is just getting the homeowner to sign up for a consultation, right? Now the call to action here for this ad video is for a homeowner to actually sign up to get a free consultation. Right, so instead of hitting them up here like we normally do on uh, uh, with a picture ad and an opt-in, which is the example here in the top, we're actually waiting now. Right, so now I'm waiting and seeing what you're gonna do, and depending on your engagements, that's how I'm gonna I'm gonna move from there. Right, so for example, if a someone or a homeowner watches 50% of my video. That means to me that they're pretty darn interested on what the heck I'm talking about, right? In this situation, it's gonna be about solar, right? So if they're engaging and they're watching 50% of my video, what I'm gonna tell Facebook is, hey, this homeowner is engaging, they just watched 50% of my video, this is the audience, let's go ahead and target that homeowner that watched 50% of my video, say for example, this, uh, audience number three, let me, or let Facebook start serving in my ad now, right? Hopefully that makes sense, right? Before, we're doing like a shotgun here, right? Shotgun blast, sign up for a consultation, right? Just kind of hoping that we hit someone. Now, we're actually creating value videos, right, value videos, and for those of you guys that's in my course, you guys are learning about this, right? Value videos. So I'm talking about you know the benefits of solar, why they should move forward with solar. Or it could be another video on how to choose the right solar company, right? Or it could be another video on uh, what's the difference between a lease versus a purchase, right? Whatever value videos you're creating, the call to action in the value videos is basically to like it 
engage with my page, share my page, watch this video, excuse me, not page, video, uh, I'm not sure why I said page, <laughs> engage with my video, like my video, comment on my video, uh, watch my video a certain amount of time, right? And once they hit those trigger points, we start serving them the ad. And for whatever reason, if the homeowner didn't hit any of our trigger points, right? What we're doing is we're serving that homeowner another value video ad, right? So that's why it's important to create these four, right? These four value videos because say for example, you made this one video and there's no engagements, right? They're only watched your video for like two seconds. So what we're gonna do is, hey, all these homeowners that watched your video for two seconds, I'm gonna put them, uh, I'm, gonna create, I'm gonna create a separate audience with those homeowners. And that tells me that whatever video I just served them, yeah, they clicked because they were somewhat interested, but it wasn't appealing to them. So now, let me go ahead and serve them value video number two, right? Value video number two, maybe this one would stick, right? So depending on their actions there, same exact thing. Hey, you know what, value video number two, they watched it for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and segment that audience and say here are the, the homeowners that watched my video for 10 seconds, now let's serve them another video, right? Obviously, you're gonna get a combination throughout your videos because video one, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're not gonna serve them the ad right then and there because say for example on video number value video number one If they watch 50% of your videos, you're automatically shooting them the offer, right? You're, you're like here's the offer. You're super interested. You watch 50% of my videos Let me go ahead and serve you the offer But if that homeowner didn't hit any of our trigger points our target points We're serving them more value videos, right? So hopefully that makes sense because this is a game changer in the industry if you get really grasped your head around this, right? And these are the things that we're teaching in our course on how to create this type of campaign because the ad campaign up here, picture ad to opt-in page, I mean, that's fairly easy to do, right? I mean, obviously you need a little bit of guidance, but you can navigate and do that pretty much on your own, right? Maybe not the opt-in page. Uh, some people may need help creating opt-in pages, but as far as navigating through uh, a picture ad or inserting a picture ad, putting some copy, headline, you guys can probably manage that, right? Obviously, there's a whole strategy behind that. Uh, I don't want to downplay you know, creating an ad because there are a lot of strategies as far as the ad copy, the headline, things like that, a picture, how to split test. That's a different video that I created last week. But this is a whole new way to increase your conversion and decrease your ad spend, right? Because as I mentioned to you guys in previous videos that that's the overall objective when you guys are running Facebook ads, right? You wanna increase the conversion, meaning you wanna get as many people to opt in as a lead, but you also wanna decrease your ad spend, right? Hopefully that's making sense. But I know this is kinda of more technical, but in a nutshell, what you're doing is you're engaging with homeowners based on their, um, their engagements and their reaction, right? So for example, like a boxer, right? A boxer punches, there's always like a counter, right? There's like, you know, you punch and you can counter and you maybe bob and weave and you counter with another punch, right? Same exact thing. So what you're doing is you're waiting for the homeowner to engage and once they engage, depending on what engagement, engagements they perform, then you can make your move whether you're gonna serve them another value video or you're actually gonna serve them your ad, right? And obviously this is higher level. Um, these are the things, like I said, we teach in our course. And obviously, every time you make a video, people wanna call you, <laughs> right? People wanna call and, 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 and drop you text uh, messages when you're making a video. I think, I think some of you guys are, are uh, my friends as well, and you guys have my personal cell phone number, right? <laughs> but anyways, that's the overall overview because we generate the majority of our leads running Facebook ads, right? And I'm gonna show you two more ways where you can actually gener generate leads as well, right? So this is a big part 
um, of you know generating leads, right? It's, it's a huge, 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 huge uh, platform that you can use. And obviously, there's different strategies. This is the newest strategy uh, on running Facebook ads, and the most efficient and the best way to increase conversion and decrease ad spend. Hopefully, that makes sense, right? If that's making sense, say say yes. If that is making sense, I'm just gonna. Sorry, guys, I, I can't see any of you guys' um, comments because um, I have it, you know, portrait mode, and it doesn't show any comments. I see, I see Leon there, but. If there's anybody else commenting, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to ignore you. <laughs> I don't see anybody else on there. So that's the way to run ads on Facebook, right? So that's one avenue that you can use, which is a huge one. If you currently aren't using Facebook to drain your leads, you need to start using it, right? You need to start using it. Uh, I highly, highly suggest that you guys start using it. And if you guys are interested in learning more how to generate leads using social media, let me know, right? Personal message me, uh, reach out to me, and just let me know that you're interested in learning more. Like I said, we have, uh, I have a course and I have students running through the same exact strategy that I'm teaching you guys today, uh, but obviously more detail, right? Um, so first strategy is Facebook. Second strategy, which is really good, right? For positioning and for free leads. <laughs> I know it's gonna, this is gonna take a little bit of time, guys, right, this next strategy, but it can really, really, really uh, help you generate free leads, right, which is YouTube, right? YouTube, it's a really, really nice platform to start creating videos to get organic traffic and, and have homeowners search, you know, concerns that they have how to choose the best solar panels, uh, what are the, the most efficient um, you know, ways or, or direction to uh, install solar panels, right? What's the difference between a PPA or a lease or a lease to a purchase, right? There's so many different topics that you can create and get organic free leads, right? Using YouTube. But my suggestion to you is if you decide to use YouTube, and I wish I, I've known this before because I have videos on YouTube that got you know, 20, 30, 40,000 views, right? And unfortunately, I wasn't specific on letting them know that the call to action or the end of the video, make sure you let them know that you can service their area, right? So what I mean by that is, if you can service the whole entire nation, let them know, hey, you know, uh, make sure that you submit your information or sign up for a free consultation. We can service everyone in every single state, right? You have to make that known. Say, for example, if you only service, you know, Florida, let them know, hey, I only service Florida. So if you're in this part of Florida or that part of Florida, then go ahead and submit your information. I would love to talk to you about your solo option, but you have to really let them know what areas you service, right? Because for my videos, unfortunately, I didn't let them know about you know my service area, which we can basically service throughout the nation. But what's happening is when the homeowner watches that video, and after they watch it, because I wasn't specific to my call to action, they're probably just thinking like, you know what, hey, you know what, that was a great video. But you know, I don't even know where this guy's at, man. He could be like in California or freaking in Timbuktu somewhere. And I'm over here, you know, in a corner of Oregon uh, or, you know, in a small little city in Florida or whatever it may be, right? So you have to really be specific and let them know what area that you service, right? Ideally, you want to be able to service the whole entire country, right? If you guys don't have a platform that service the whole entire country, then you need to talk to me as well. Right? You need to talk to me as well. That's another thing that you could put in your back pocket where you have access to every single state in the, in the country, right? Because for the most part, I know solar consultants, they only, they have a, a, a territory, whether, you know, uh, if it's like one state or just a few zip codes or a few cities or maybe just the whole state, but they don't service anywhere else. If that's the case, and you're learning how to generate leads online, whether that's Facebook or YouTube, 
you're leaving a lot of money on the table, right? A lot of money on the table. Because imagine if you're generating leads on Facebook, for example, or YouTube, and you're generating leads literally anywhere in the country, and now you have a platform where you can sell anywhere in the country, that's pretty darn powerful, right? That's pretty powerful. Because a lot of times, a lot of my students say, hey, you know what, James? I'm only selling in, you know, uh, Florida. And if I get leads in, you know, uh, New Mexico, New Jersey, New York, California, I can't service those. So what we do is we give them access to a platform where you can actually start servicing them so you never leave money on the table like ever again, right? Ever again, ever, ever again. I can't, I can't stress that enough, right? You're gonna cut yourself thin. You're leaving a lot of money on the table if, you're only, if you can only sell in one little state, right? There's a ton of other states where solar is very lucrative and you're gonna have to, you have a platform to do so, right? To be able to sell in those areas, reach out to me if you're interested with that as well. But for YouTube, right, back to the topic, for YouTube, you need to create videos. So take the time out of your busy, out of your busy day to create some topics. And what you can do is check out YouTube, check out the things that I'm, the kind of topics I'm creating, right? So take, take a look at those, just you know, re, re, redo them or whatever you, you decide. Right, but the idea is create a value video, the call to action. Hey, Mr. Homeowner, I service California. If you live in California, go ahead and sub click the link somewhere in the description. Let's chat, and uh, you know, I'd love to discuss you know your solar options and how much money you can save by going solar. Right, whatever your pitch is. Right, whatever your pitch is. But this is another great way or avenue where you can generate leads, which is YouTube. Right. And like I said, the guys that's in my course now, they're learning all these strategies. And the last strategy I'm gonna show you, which is really effective as well, which is not as sexy as you know, creating Facebook ads to an opt-in page or making videos on Facebook. It's not as sexy and it sounds a little old school, but create a website. But not only are you creating a website, you're actually creating a blog in that website, right? So now, uh, now what you can do, remember we talked about Facebook traffic, right? So before, on, in Facebook, you can do a picture ad to an opt-in page, right? That's the traditional way we just got done talking about on running Facebook ads. Now what you can do is put a twist to it, which works really, really, really well, right? For some reason, I'm like repeating my words today. <laughs> so um, another way to run this type of ad is do a picture ad, right? This is all Facebook still. Picture ad to a blog, right? So instead of having them opt in right away, you, you're pushing them to a blog, right? You're putting a little snippet here, right? A little article in your picture ad about this blog. They'll click the button to read the blog even more. And then from the blog, they're gonna read the blog and like, oh damn, this is amazing, right? Amazing blog. And from there, they can opt in. Right, so just another step in between that, which converts really, really well, especially if it's a branded, personal branded blog that you have, right? See, for me, for example, I run them through my personal brand, which is James the Solar Energy Expert, right? So imagine how much more positioning I'm getting because now they see me on, on Facebook as an ad, they, they can click on my, on my profile page. There's over 12,000 plus people there that like the page that's following me. Um, if they decide to click on the learn more or read more, they go to my blog, which is my website, and there's hundreds of blogs there. They're like, dude, I love this guy, man. Not only is this article amazing, imagine how much credibility the no like and trust factor I'm building as well, right? And at the bottom of this blog, after they read it, there's the call to action, right? There's a button down there, sign up for a free solar consultation, right? So hopefully that's making sense, right? So 
those are the three strategies that we use to generate solar leads, right? First strategy is Facebook. From uh, There's two different strategies that we use on Facebook. The first one is a picture ad to an opt-in page. The second strategy is more of value, value videos slash engagements type of ads, right? The second way to generate solar leads is through YouTube. Um, you can create videos in YouTube and your call to action is to sign up for a, for a free solar consultation. But like I said, uh, if you're creating videos on YouTube, please be super specific, right? On the areas that you can service because as they're watching your video, they don't know whether or not you're gonna be able to service them, right? They could be somewhere in Timbuktu, somewhere in Arkansas, and they're just wondering like, you know what, I don't think this, uh, this person can actually service me, even though this all sounds great, gave me a lot of great information, but unfortunately, I'm not sure whether or not they can help me. So to eliminate that doubt from the homeowner, make sure you let, you know, let them know that you can service literally anybody in the nation. And if you don't have a platform where you can service everyone in the nation, personal message me and we'll chat, right? Personal message me and we'll chat. And the last way to join solar leads is basically still running Facebook ads, but instead of running the picture ad directly to an opt-in page, what you're doing is running a picture ad to a blog, and then from the blog, they're gonna read the whole entire blog, and at the bottom of the page, there's gonna be a button, they're gonna opt in from there. Right, so those are the strategies that we personally use to generate your store leads. Those are the strategies that I use to generate uh, even leads for my Facebook courses, uh, my social media courses. And if you guys are interested in learning these particular strategies, personal message me, right? Because I know there's people out in the internet right now, I'm not gonna mention any names, that's charging you know, 5,000 plus dollars to learn these strategies and you're gonna learn it and I'm gonna teach you a lot more for a fraction of the cost, right? But to get all those details, you can have to personal message me, right? Personal message me. Hopefully you guys got some value from that. If you guys have any questions at all, reach out to me. A lot of people reach out to me. Um, I always answer as much as I can. Obviously, you know, I only have a, a limited amount of time where I can speak to, you know, con you know uh, consultants like yourself, but if you, Reach out to me and we put, put it on the calendar. I'll definitely chat with you, right? I'll definitely chat with you and try to help you as much as I can if my kids are screaming. Other than that, thank you guys for watching again. If you guys are interested in learning these strategies, right? If you guys are interested, make sure you personal message me. I'd love to share exactly how you could get in the course and learn these strategies in more details where I literally walk you step by step. I hold you by the hand and I walk you step by step. So I basically become your personal coach, right? So other than that, hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, goodbye for now, peace.